Welcome Gemini. We're going to be looking at what action you need to take this year, okay, using Work Your Light Oracle cards. And I've selected the uh, action cards out of that deck so we can see what it is that you need to do for this year. Okay, so one card for Gemini, please. card for Gemini please there it is Gemini soul family okay call in your tribe you don't have to do it alone beautiful look at that yeah these are the people who really really match your energy okay so let's have a look here have a look further into this tell me more about this we're going to read this from the book at the end here gemini the one thing that i've got lately well actually before the new year about the new year has been This feeling of um, this change of direction in everyone's lives. And I know that that can happen in New Year's, but this is something um, bigger. This is really big. And potentially on an energetic level, um, but yeah, it's it's something that's important for us to really start taking note of and to begin to do what it is that we need to do because it's um, not the time anymore for just sitting and letting things happen. Um, we actually need to be taking action in our lives. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so there's one card on the floor, so let me pick this up. Okay, Gemini, I feel like this is quite a... Um, yeah, there's something about this reading for you guys already. I stopped the clock to pick that card up at 222. So already there, it's like, wow. Um, okay, so first off we have here slowing down. Okay, um, it's really interesting because there's sort of this direction that you're heading in and... Um, the thing is that when new things come into our life or there's a direction that we want to head in that we're excited about, we can go rushing into it without really being cautious. Um, I feel as though there's this need to be mindful of um, ju jumping in too soon because you can't see what's in the water, right? And I, yeah... And it's not to say that the water is contaminated in any way. It is really actually just to take things step by step, Gemini, so that you don't miss a step, okay, so that you don't try to swim too soon, so that everything is taken care of, okay? We next have this totality card, and I don't feel like this is too much of a big deal for you. Uh, what I do feel like, though, is, again, it's because these these two people here have not quite joined hands, okay? And they need one more swing back and then to go again. Now, if they were to rush into that, that could cause a, a an issue, okay? Um, and I want to say, the other thing I want to say about this is to complete everything that you start. To be very mindful of that for some reason, Gemini, because I know I know that there can be this tendency to start something, get bored of it, and then move on to something else, right? But if you start a project that um, there is the potential for it to be completed, ensure that it's completed before you move on to something else okay tie up loose ends make sure that there's 444 on the clock this is yeah so i yeah just have to point this out uh, anyway um yeah so make sure that you are 
finishing off what needs to be finished off before you move on to the next thing. Okay, the next card we have here is existence here. I feel like, Gemini, this is, yeah, there's, there's a connection here. There's something about a connection. It's understanding that connections always remain. The existence, you know, we are all one, right? We that that never um there's actually no separation. The only separation is visually. And as human beings, it can appear like there's such separation, but energetically, there's no separation. Um, for some of you, I feel as though you need to be quite mindful of that. Okay, so that you're taking care of your own energy and not letting other people feed off of that. Just going back to the completion of things here, I feel like with the turtle, make sure you know how to swim before you jump into the water. Okay, don't skip steps. The next card we have here is Abundance. And I love this. I love that this has come up here. There's some connection here with this Existence card. And everything that you require is there for you. Okay? It is there for you. What gets in the way of you obtaining all the abundance that is there for you because of your existence because you can actually you have the power to manifest anything here Gemini I mean you know look the magician in the in the um the original tarot represents Gemini right you are a magician okay what gets in the way is this this kind of energy this can cloud our judgment. This can cause us to lose alignment, lose connection, lose faith that things are going to come to us. So be very mindful of this during the year, okay? Because there's actually a lot that... Um, I feel like this year is dependent upon you keeping... The faith that you can achieve anything that you want to achieve. The only reason that things may not be going in the direction you want them to is potentially because of this monkey mind, right? This is this monkey mind. The monkey playing the tambourine, making all this noise, and not actually, there's not actually anything that's been achieved by making all the noise. It's just making noise for the sake of it. The mind, right? Next card we have here is consciousness, and this is going to help you remain in alignment, okay, to help you manifest everything that you want to bring into your life, to bring all this abundance in, okay? Keeping in alignment with the existence of the energy that you are one with is what will give you this fulfilling life that you desire. Right? When you talk about totality, about completion in your life, this is what will bring it in. Yeah. Ripeness. This is this is harvesting. Here's the thing, Gemini, is that this year is is, you know, you've been working so hard, right? You've been working so hard to bring in everything that you want, to bring in the abundance, to bring in the love. You know, the abundance is not just about money. It's about love. It's about friendship. It's about everything that you could possibly wish for in abundance, right? You've worked for that. 
and it's time to reap the rewards. It's time to reap the rewards. It's coming for you, Gemini. Stay connected, right? Stay conscious. Stay aware. Cross your T's, dot your I's, and be in the moment so that you can enjoy every single apple that is picked off the tree. Okay, because when this gets in the way, we miss the fact that this here is happening because we're focusing on this, yeah? Yep, look, what's going to happen in life? There's going to be stressful moments, right? There's going to be things that happen. There's going to be sadness. You know, there's going to be all these things. Just be mindful of not allowing your mind to take over, not allowing it to keep you up at night. Remember who you are, Gemini. Remember who you are. Okay? Look, there's, like, actually, I feel like this year is going to be quite huge for you. Because everything is coming to fruition, which also leaves a brand new blank slate for you to start something new in a really positive way. We have no tower moments here. We have nothing that, aside from the stress, this is an amazing reading. Okay? We have the outsider here, which can potentially cause you to feel like you're not part of things. Okay? Um... I actually feel like this here is you needing to turn away from certain things. It's Here's the thing. I feel like there's some things that you have stepped away from, but you continue to revisit them. And it's time to not do that. Okay, and it's kind of like you've shut the door, you've shut the gate, you've locked it, but you keep coming back to it. Why? Why? Ask yourself the question, why do I keep going back to that? What's the purpose of that? What am I gaining from that? Why do I need to keep doing that? Okay? But just going back to go with the flow for a minute, You know, yeah, because this is what this is about, actually. This is trying to kind of swim upstream to go, oh, just one more look, right? Something is finished. Something is done here. And it's time to float away from it. It's time to move away from it. And actually allow yourself to do that, okay? We have this aloneness card here. And I feel like it's important to point out that aloneness does not mean that you're alone. It doesn't mean that you're isolated because you have this, you're part of this existence, right? You're part of this consciousness here, Gemini. Okay? And um, you have this ability to shine your own light to lead the way and this year this is what needs to be tapped into okay because you have this soul family here the soul family is not behind this gate okay you don't have to do it alone and yet you continue to believe you do and so part of this is you reaching out and opening up to having this soul family into your life. For you to start walking forward together. Okay. So let's have a look here at soul family. Just find it. Soul family. Here we go. Gemini. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. It is time to call in your soul family and support team. People who get you at a soul level. 
people who are the same kind of weird as you, <laughs> people who are your chosen family. They are coming and they are looking for you. If you haven't found them yet, this is a sign that they are close by. But in order for you to find them, oh sorry, that I said that wrong. But in order for them to find you and recognize you when they do, it is important that you stop dimming your light and truly let yourself be seen. Yes, you see? Look at this light shining here, right? They're not going to see you if you're looking through this gate here. Hard to see you when you're up here too. Anyway. Where was I? Okay. If you had, have already found them, then you are being called to let them support you and perhaps also assemble a wider support team. Your support team can, can consist of all types of people, such as a therapist, coach, mentor or healer. Tune in to what kind of support you need now. Okay, so your action for this year, Gemini, is call in your support team now. Yeah, you've got an entire year to gather them up, right? And that's the thing, right? Really going into what feels right. Are you getting the same back from others that you were giving to them, right? Um, yeah, this is this is an important, it, it's finding that match, right, on all levels. So, yeah, have fun with that because you're going to meet some really interesting people if you haven't met them already. And um, and if they are already in your life, then enjoy and ask for them to help you. Okay, Gemini, take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.